How's everybody doing tonight? It's Andrew with DraftTime.com. Um, I've been getting emails. Um, you know, we actually have been getting emails since we uh, launched this. You know, there's a small percentage of people who can't actually, you know, get the, the, the lineup optimizer to work. So I just wanted to take the time to make this video and uh, go over some of the problems, um, you know, some of you guys have been having. Um, I want to start off with the developer tab. You know, some of you guys, you know, have been emailing us telling you you don't even have a developer tab. So I'm going to show you guys how to add that tab in there. First thing you want to do is you want to go to File. You want to, and then after that you want to go to Options. And then after that you want to go to Customize Ribbon. Once you're in Customize Ribbon, you come over here. If you don't, if the, if you don't have a developer tab, this won't be checked in. So just check that in. Hit OK. Once you've done that, now you can access the developer tab. Now that the developer tab is accessible, you want to come over here, click on the developer tab, and you want to go to macros. Oh, excuse me. Um, you want to go to macro security. Once you're in macro security, you want to make sure that this bubble right here is clicked in. It's enable all macros. You want to make sure that's clicked in. And then under that, under developer macro settings, you want to make sure that Trust access to the VBA project object model is checked in as well. So you want that checked in and this checked in. Go ahead, go ahead and hit OK. Once you have that done, I want you to go over to File, then Options. Once you're in Options, go to Add-ins. And then once you're in Add-ins, make sure this box down here is on Excel Add-ins. Once it's on Excel add-ins, you just click Solver add-in, come down here, hit OK. So once that, once, once that is done, you want to come back over to the Developer tab. You're already in it. And you want to go to Visual Basics. And you want to go to Tools, References, and then you want to click in Solver. And you hit OK. Um, and that, that should be that. Then you should be able to run the lineup optimizer, no problem whatsoever. Um, there are a small percentage of Mac users that are having issues. We're not sure why yet. We're trying to figure out why. Um, but uh, just to let everybody know, we're actually in the process of, of developing an, an, a web-based optimizer. So you, you won't even have to download an Excel sheet in the future. It'll be on the website, and you can do everything you're doing here in this lineup optimizer on Excel. You can do on the website. Um, it'll be a lot easier. There'll be no configuring anything. It, it, you know, it'll be a lot better. So, all right, that about wraps up this video. Um, make sure to check us out on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. You know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yeah, that's it. Hope this video helps everybody. Enjoy the night. Thanks.